you have to develop an overall strategy for each uh, apparatus, for each fire truck. You have to have an overall strategy for each firefighter. One thing that struck me is the amount of work it actually takes to get the person out of the car. You know, it's hard enough getting the, the door open, but making sure that uh, their neck is secure and, and that you're able to get them out onto the board, that, that's a lot of work as well, and, and you need to make sure that you have a lot of personnel. That's our station and what we're doing here, just making sure that people understand about the manning and the equipment and what we use and how we use it and how we also decide. We can't say, oh, you know, we're sorry, we're fatigued, we gotta take a break, we'll be back in, you know, 10 minutes, we're gonna right. take a commercial break, we'll be back. We don't have that opportunity or that option, so that's when we start talking about staffing and having enough personnel always available or additional resources to take care of this stuff, um, because it is people's lives. Uh, charge the line. Oh. Oh. Nothing to worry about. And, all right, we head right up this way here. I imagine that was a lot longer than that would have taken if we had professionals doing it. But it was a very good experience. Yeah, I can only imagine the different variables you guys have to deal with. I mean, this is a picture-perfect scenario where we're doing this in a very controlled setting. What'd you think? I don't know how you guys do it.